हेलो एवरी वन फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस ऑर्गेनो कैटालिसिस द टर्म ऑर्गेनो कैटालिसिस इन हॉल्ड ऑर्गेनिक एंड कैटालिस्ट इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री द टर्म ऑर्गेनो कैटालिसिस रेफर्स टू फॉर्म कैटालिसिस वेयर द रेट ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन इज इंक्रीज बाय एन ऑर्गेनिक कैटालिस्ट consisting mainly of carbon hydrogen sulfur nitrogen oxygen and phosphorus the organocatalyst is an organic molecule that does not contain metal which in substoichiometric amount accelerate the reaction this is called as organocatalyst and the best example is proline up to this we cover in previous lecture today we will start the remaining part of asymmetric organocatalysis that is chiral proline base reaction friends in chiral proline base reaction it is an enantio selective reaction or we call it as the enantio selective organocatalysis is a powerful synthetic tool for the enzyme catalyzed reaction here it having the low toxicity city associated with the organocatalysis and operational simplicity makes it an attractive method for synthesizing complex structure that means it is preferentially involved in a enzyme catalyst reaction for synthesize complex structure in which the small molecules like chiral proline chiral thiourea chiral tadol and chiral alkaloids have the special reactivity in the asymmetric synthesis so these are the some examples is used in a organocatalysis now the chiral proline is termed as the simplest bifunctional organocatalyst here this is scheme number 1 here the different forms of proline are available this is r form and this is es form here this is a bifunctional organocatalyst bifunctional that that means having a two functional group that means this is acid and this is amine okay therefore this is called as the bifunctional organocatalyst it exists in r form and s form and this is the racemic mixture that means dl pair plus minus and these amino acids is called the simplest enzyme due to its ability to catalyze reaction with the stereoselectivity to high stereo selectivity then the proline is a small molecule and it is a non toxic inexpensive and readily available in both enantiomeric forms having the bifunctional acid base sites that means this is the structure of the proline and it is a bifunctional acid base catalysis here this is acid and here base that for bifunctional acid base catalysis is on treatment with the acetone here the reaction proceeds with the either iminium catalysis that means this way from your left hand side it is in formations of iminium catalysis and here from your right hand side again on the proline is on treatment with the acetone we get the enamine catalysis and here if the metals are involved here here metal catalysis that means the formation of iminium catalysis or the enamine catalysis now in the early 1970 uh, the first year proline catalyzed aldol reaction was appeared and this is the scheme number 3 actually 
This reaction involves the Robinson annulation through the aldol reaction. In first example, 3 mole percent L proline in solvent dimethyl formamide DMF. Here, here we get the one is a compound that means one intermediate. We call it as one intermediate. Now, here, how this will be formed? It's very easy. Now, if we start the numbering from here, this is suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here, this will abstract this proton. Here, it will be the, that means this ketone, it will be the converted into enol form. And this will be attacked on this carbonyl. And here we get the 6 membering. This ketone, it will become OH. That means ketone is converted into alcohol here. OH. Now, in next step, treatment with the paratoluene sulfonic acids. Here, it having the two choice. That means the removal of water molecule of the removal of this hydrogen from 6 member or the 5 member. But due to a stability, here removal of hydrogen from 6 member ring, removal of water molecule and we get the alpha beta unsaturated system and having the proportion is 97% EE that means it is a more stable because due to their conjugation ok now second example here again same proportion but only the different solvents are used again same mechanism the keto it will be converted into enol form this will be attack on this ketone it become OH and next step removal of water molecule with the help of the paratoluene sulfonic acids and again we get the alpha beta unsaturated system it is here 93 percent in isomeric excess in both the examples it is the Robinson annulation through aldol reaction now here the expected transition states are involved that means this, the starting materials and this proline here the transition state will be formed now next the intermolecular aldol reaction the intermolecular aldol reaction and we know the aldol reaction the inertia selective aldol reaction is one of the most powerful method for the construction of the chiral polyol. Here, the first intermolecular direct initial selective aldol reaction catalyzed by L proline and appear to employing the acetone and 4 nitrobenzaldehyde as the substrate. Here, the scheme number for you. That means first L proline catalyzes direct aldol reaction. Here in this scheme, that means L1 to L3, here different a chiral proline catalyst are involved. And it has been a develop to enhance the selectivity of the reaction means the this is a, a proline chiral catalyst L1 now then L2 and L3 they are involved in the reaction and when you use this a chiral proline catalyst it enhances the rate of the reaction now here a simple example here this is a simple compound that means the 4 nitrobenzaldehyde. Okay. This 4 nitrobenzaldehyde is on treatment with acetone in presence of 30 mole percent catalyst in DMSO. Here, the simple reaction. Here, keto is it will convert into enol form. This will be attack on this aldehyde. And here, it will become OH. And we get the beta hydroxy 
ketone. This is a simple mechanism that means intermolecular, intermolecular and intramolecular. Intramolecular that means two different molecules and intra that means within the same molecule. Here we discuss intramolecular that means two different molecules. That means one here aldehyde and here ketone. That means the reaction between the aldehyde and the ketone. Okay. Now for this mechanism, the reaction of pyrrolidine with the carbonyl donor can give the enamine that means here this is actually this is a pyrrolidine if you consider this five member ring here this is a pyrrolidine with carbonyl donor okay and the reaction proceeds through with the re phase of the aldehyde to give iminium ion that is b that means this state iminium ion that is get the this iminium ion that means here mentioned in the scheme number 6 and the later on they can be uh, undergoes hydrolysis that means here and we get the chiral beta hydroxy lactone that means this one beta hydroxy lactone here the proposed transition state illustrated that the enamine attack occurs on the re phase of the aldehyde that means here this is a pyrrolidine here first step here the complex will be formed here we get the enamine okay this, this is nothing but this is enamine in next step this will be now then addition of this aldehyde we get the iminium ion formations of iminium ion and this iminium ion it undergoes hydrolysis we get the beta hydroxy lactone here the simple mechanism this will be attack on this carbonyl, the nitrogen carrying lone pair. This will attack on this carbonyl. Carbonyl will become OH. Now, then, removal of this water molecule, we get the enamine. Now, then, this enamine on treatment with the aldehyde. Here, again, simple mechanism nitrogen carrying lone pair. This will be shipped here, and this double bond attack on this. And here, we get the, the B intermediate. And this iminium ion, it undergoes the hydrolysis, we get the beta hydroxy ketone. Okay. Now, the question is that at which sites the enamine will be formed? Which is the favorable condition, the formations of enamine? The facial selectivity of attack of enamine is dedicated by minimizing the steric interaction between the aldehyde and aldehyde substituents and the enamine substituents. That means we form the enamine. We have to remember that if starting material it having the substituents. At that time, we have to choose at which side it having the a minimum steric repulsion or the minimum steric interaction. That side enamine will be formed. In this case, here the C it is not favored. Why? Because here the X, this R, it having some or this R and this Y, it having a some steric repulsion therefore this situation will not be favorable situation but in case of D and E it is favored situation because these two groups are away from each other therefore it having the minimum steric repulsion or we call it as a no steric repulsion because these two groups are away from each other therefore the D and E it is a favorable situation for the enamine formation. Here, the attack of enamine on the SI phase of the aldehyde leads to the unfavorable transition state C. Okay, this is about the enamine approach. We have to remember that in, a, in this reaction, the conclusion of this reaction here, first step is the formations of enamine. Now then, formation of enamine now then on treatment with the aldehyde or ketone whatever here aldehyde and we get the iminium ion 
and in next step the imidium i it undergoes hydrolysis we get the beta hydroxy ketone and the question is that at which side enamine will be formed we have to remember that we have to consider the minimum steric interaction between the aldehyde substituents and those starting material having the minimum steric repulsion that sides enamine will be preferentially formed okay so friend never miss a video subscribe to my youtube channel okay thank you